So what is wrong with this write file sync line here? Well, it's the sync keyword. I earlier mentioned that there also is a write file method, but we used write file sync. The sync here stands for synchronous. And this is a special method which will actually block code execution until this file is created. Now, working with files is available in two modes. Here is the synchronous mode. We block execution of the next line of code until this file is done. Now, for this short of a text we enter, this is super fast and we won't even notice it. But think about a huge file, a couple of hundreds of megabytes or even bigger. If you do something with that, read it, copy it, whatever it is, and you block the code execution, then the next line and all the other code will not continue to run until that file operation is done. And even new incoming requests of other users would not be handled until that file operation is done. And you don't want that. Therefore, you should not use that syntax here. You can if you know you'll only have a very short file operation, but even then, it's better to use this write file method here, which actually does not just accept the path and the data, but also a third argument. And that is again such a callback. So a function that should be executed when it's done. So here again, just as with create server, Node.js implicitly registers an event listener for us. So here I pass another function and this callback here actually receives an error object, which will be null if no error occurred. But if some error occurred, missing permissions or anything like that, you would get it here and you could then handle it gracefully by returning a different kind of response, an error response, showing to the user that an error occurred and otherwise return a normal response. Now here I won't do error handling and there is really nothing that could go wrong here. We'll of course dive into error handling a bit more later in the course. But I will remove my normal response code in there because this response should only be sent if we're done working with the file because that is ultimately the action we want to do upon our request, right? So now we actually have our event listener with some method or function that will be executed once we're done parsing the request. And in that function that will be executed sometime in the future, we have yet another event listener this nested function here, which will be executed once we're done writing the file. And this is actually pretty standard for Node.js. You have this event-driven architecture where you basically tell Node.js, please do something, and it will then go ahead and offload that process to the operating system, which does use multi-threading and so on, and will then continue its event loop to listen for event callbacks, and always just dispatch tiny actions like that to never block the code execution and then always just come back once an operation is done by the operating system and so on. So this is what Node.js does here and why it is high performant because it never blocks your code, it never blocks the server, it just goes ahead and tells the operating system, do that, do this, and then eventually comes back and does something in the callback, like send a response, which is not a blocking operation because this is super fast, just a couple of headers and off you go. So I hope this is clear. And with that, let's restart this by quitting the server, rerunning node app, and going back to just slash nothing. Let's enter hello again here and send. And in message text, we see that. Again, concatenated with an extra character, um, not something we have to worry about right now. So you see, write file also works, but this is the way you should use it due to the asynchronous nature of Node.js, which I hope now became clear because it is a crucial concept of Node.js and one you absolutely have to understand. With that, let's wrap this module up with these core basics and let's from now on move to a more easier route where we will make our life simpler and not write all this nitty gritty detail code on our own. But it is super crucial that you understand what's going on here.